Welcome back, everybody, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ranch channel. I am your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our good friend Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the ramp. And our crew's struggling to get it over to the dock a little bit. Little wind and current down here at Black Point today, and I'm assuming we're going to see a little bit of struggles with that. Also, low tide, well, we already know that's a dangerous thing. Whatever you do, don't bring your Jeep down to Black Point. We already know that's the saltwater snack of choice. Um, our crew is kind of pulling off of the dock now. Oh, oh, watch out for the dog! Oh, the Black Point crocodile was almost delivered a meal there. This crew, like many of the boaters we've seen today, is just struggling to get over to the dock with the wind and the current. We've got a guy in the bow, and it looks like we're going to have him go ahead and leap off. So we've got somebody up here now, but what? Uh, Captain left the helm. The boat's still in reverse. Cap, what are you doing? Oh, man, he's not even going back to the helm right now. They're just trying to figure it out. He goes back to the helm, but no, you got to get a... He killed the engine. He needed to give it a bump of forward, and now they're going to go back into this other boat. Woo! Cap, I mean, this is... If you're doing anything as a captain, it's got to be a real emergency, guys, for you to leave the helm if that engine's on. I mean, here he, he was trying to go assist up at the dock, didn't realize the boat was still in gear, and they're just fortunate. I mean... Imagine if somebody was in the water behind them on accident, and we don't see a ton of that here for reasons we know, but especially at some of the other ramps we visit, it's not uncommon. I see people get into the water for some reason at the ramp, which is one of the silliest things I can imagine you doing. But our cap's gonna bring this back over, and fortunately, disaster's averted, but man, that's always a scary situation anytime I see somebody leave that helm like that when the motor is running. And this is one of those ones where it just happened to be in gear still, and it took him a few seconds to figure it out. But it does look like the situation is completely back under control. Our guys are likely going to get this one up on the dock and put up. Also, it doesn't appear he was wearing his safety kill switch lanyard either. Obviously, that motor would have killed if he'd have walked away from the helm doing that. And here's where things can get interesting down here in Black Point and several of the other ramps that we film. There's not a whole lot of holding docks, and these lanes fill up quick. And these guys have to basically sit out there and play bumper boats and hope they don't hit each other. Kind of like we're going to see here, our guy's calling it really close. But he gets it into forward gear, and they're going to push away. But it just makes for an interesting scene. I mean, we've got about five boats right now that are just floating here, basically waiting for a lane to free up. And what winds up happening as well, as these guys kind of come back into these docks, they wind up starting approaching at weird angles because they don't get to take a straight on shot because as soon as the ramp frees, they just start heading over to it. Here after waiting a few minutes, we finally got a lane that's opening up and now comes the dash to see who's actually gonna go in and take that lane. So our red and gold vessel here, looks like they're heading in, but you can see the other boats even backing in. And these guys are both kind of going in at the same time. Somebody's going to have to give on this one. And I'm assuming it's going to be the vessel that's backing it because he can't really do much if he backs into the dock. And here, man, they're going to call it close. They may hit. Oh, we're going to get shot blocked right here at the end. Let's see what kind of... Oh, they're pushing off the rear motor. I mean, these guys almost hit. They had to push off the rear motor. Whoa, guy. Oh, man. He nails the throttle here. And this is the frustration that happens down at the ramps when everybody's waiting to get into a slip. And our crew's approaching. The wind and currents got them a little bit, so they're going to have to fight with this one a little bit to get it back over to the dock. Good little turn in. He gets this. Oh, man. Ho, 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 ho. Um, something, I believe, is on a hunting spree as the fish just all jumped at one shot. It really kind of is a little wild, though, for me to see a school of fish that large in a spot that's this busy. And we're making our approach into the dock, but, man, you can just tell the wind and currents got these guys. They're trying to approach the dock to the left-hand side, but they've missed. And that current's just held them up. Oh, oh, watch out for the dock, guys. Puts the brakes on. We're going to likely hit the dock, though. Fortunately for these guys, they had it slowed down. And it's not a dock destroyer, but, man, it probably will still leave a scuff. And we're going to get somebody onto the dock, and hopefully we can get this thing tied up and pulled around. And so it's a little bit of a struggle. You can tell. You can see how fast the water's moving below them. So they struggle to get it back over there, but they'll get this one pulled up to the dock, and we'll get this one pulled out. I don't know if it gets any more Biscayne Bay than this. I don't know what these guys have going on here. So we've got a makeshift bimini top. 
Um, the boat appears to be loaded with trash bags. Now, that could be five million things. Um, these guys could have went on a camping trip over the weekend, and that could be them bringing their garbage back. If so, good for them. Uh, this could be a way of protecting their supplies and gear to try and keep it dry. But, man, it's just an interesting one to watch. We get the nice step off, but it kind of kicks him out. The wind current's got him. Now he's going to have to fight the boat to get it back. He's struggling. <laughs> and the boat's just drifting off. Cap's going to give him a little bit of reverse here and try and pull this thing back over. And our guy's going with the single foot approach, but he's really going to have to get some hands on this thing and pull it up. And I don't see any lines anywhere, which probably makes sense the more I look at the vessel. But our crew, it looks like he's getting it pulled into the dock, but they definitely need to work on a way to secure this vessel now. And our cap's going to leave, and we're going to put the fenders out, of course, after the fact, which is typical for just about every marina we visit down here. You know, this is definitely not one of those things. It's funny, though, because when we look at the haulover videos, the amount of times we see guys rolling out a haulover fenders out, and you're like, what the heck are they doing? And then we never see those guys at the marina doing it, which makes me wonder where they're launching from, because we are missing those guys somewhere. And our guy, they're losing the stern of the vessel again. It's pulling off here. They've got to get some lines out. And our guy's going to try and walk this one back up with the rails, but, oh, man, without lines, this is going to be a tough one to finish up. This is typically not a good sign. The tide's a little low, and the last thing I want to see is a truck bumper deep down here at Black Point. This would, I mean, this is going to make an interesting pullout for this crew. And this is still a pretty heavy boat that they've got here as well. Um, I, as we can tell, the guys did get the boat docked up, and we've got it on the trailer. But, I mean, these tires are wet. Ah, man, I hope this one doesn't go backwards. So our crew looks like they're about ready to start pulling it out. And here they go. And it looks like he's getting a little traction. And now he slides back just a little bit. And it looks like they might make it out on this one, man. I thought it was going to be a whole lot closer than this, but nope, nope, nope. Now he's sliding backwards. So quickly realizes once he starts sliding backwards that we need to apply the brakes. And they, as we thought, are a little bit stuck. And it looks like our uh, friendly park officer is going to go over here and give them a little advice like, hey, somebody get on the rear of this truck. Let's get a little weight on it and get it off my ramp. So his buddy's going to do just that. Give it a little hop action. And just with the single person, we're actually going to get this one pulled out. I'm a little bit impressed right now. I thought for sure this was going to take a little more work than this. This is a big boat, and they had that thing buried and those tires wet. And that could have been a recipe for disaster, but they'll get it pulled out and get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things over at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where Man and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.